All right, back for more Naruto Storm 4, and we are in Gara's Adventure Mode. All right, so we are in the middle of this quest for Killer B. We have to find the real Killer B with all of these around. Um, okay, you know what? I'm right-handed. We'll go the right path. Now, based on talking to C, uh, it looks as though the way we could tell if it's actually Killer B is the fact that he has the... The real one has the Samehada. But how can we tell? Okay, that's not him. Do we immediately fight him? Yeah, we do. Okay, fuck. So there's no way to tell, it looks like, uh, from the pot, if it's the correct killer V or not. Uh, large chakra recovery. You know what? I'm actually probably going to buy some more of those ultimate power lunches, although we probably don't have many fights left to go. Now, these fights aren't so bad since we have uh, two characters. And Killer B, as far as a, an AI-controlled opponent, he's not the worst we could face. Obviously, if this was like... If we were fighting like Daedara right now, all, constantly, that would be a huge pain in the ass. Uh, I'll probably actually... I don't know. Maybe I will go to Darwi. I'll go back and forth. Uh, Darwi, of course, is a much better assist, I think, than Gara is. Oh, fuck. Yep, there we go. Walk right into that. Okay, let me not get hit by that rising bomber again. And instead, I'll grab him and say, Fuck you, motherfucker. Okay, I don't need to be scared about spamming. Just spamming. You know what? Let's just get in here. Let's beat his ass down. And, of course, because we've only got the one assist... Oh, wow, that's weird. Because uh, we've only got the one assist... Uh, we'll actually be able to bring Darwi out quite frequently. And then I will definitely be busting out my grab quite a bit uh, because of how, like, incredible Gara's grab really is. It's really fantastic. All right, go ahead. Cover me while I charge up, Darwi. Okay, so now we'll get in. Uh, we're right there. And, oh, no. This should be it. Unless he dodged. Oh, he dodged. Okay. There's no reason to worry about getting pictures. Let's just finish him off if we can. Got him. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this is a bit of a pain. It for real, for real looks like we're just going to have to go around and examine all of these pots until we find the one with the Same. Until he pops out and he's got the Same Hada on. Because as soon as you examine the pot, you instantly go into a battle. That's not him. Oh, no. Too bad it was another leg. Yep. God damn it. Now, I suppose there's a chance. What the fuck? What do you want? It's Chojiro. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, whatever. We'll give you the scrolls. These are so pointless. We already. Yeah, okay. Yep. Like the Lord Kazakage. We already did all of these back in uh, Naruto's story, so there's really no need to do those. Ugh. Let's see. Do you have the Samehara? Probably not. Nope. No, we don't want to fight! God damn it. Ah! Alright, so two down. Fucking 500 to go. At the very least, our health does regen after every fight, so that's not so bad. Yeah, I guess we'll uh we'll go ahead and go over to Darwi then. Because at the very least, uh we could, you know, try out some of his combos. Before I didn't get a lot of those combo finishers last time, bitch. Yeah, that's a very that's a piss poor combo right there. No stylish uh jutsu. There we go. A little water for you, motherfucker. Surprised he's not really busting out any lightning in the combo. There we go. There's some lightning in the combo. Bitch, back up, Killer B. Oh, wow, we're done already, huh? That was easy. Black hunting good! Alright, later, Killer B-sama. Alright, that's it. So, clearly, the reason that they gave us Darwi uh, for these missions is because we probably have to do so many fights. So, I guess rather than just have it be a one-on-one -on -one fight every time they give us someone else. 
I wouldn't be against fighting multiple. Like, if we were fighting uh, a couple killer bees at once, that would be fine. I wouldn't be too against that. Oh, no. Yes, I know. It was another tentacle. You didn't have the Samehata. That was very painfully obvious, killer bee. Perhaps I should run through and just... Jeez, look how fucking many there are. Wait a minute. Okay, so blue, blue... Well, I, yeah, I was wondering, what is that yellow arrow pointing towards? But that's just the exit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't... Oh. Ugh. So what you're telling me, it's that obvious the Samehata is outside of the fucking barrel? Alright then. Well, this is it, because it's got the Samehata. We know this. Yeah, we sure did. Alright, cool. So that could have been way worse. I actually was just about to run around and check all of the pots first before we fought anymore. But, bam, there it was. Because I didn't think that his Samehata would actually be outside of the fucking pot. But it certainly sure the fuck was. Let's see if I can't hit him with something right off the bat. No. Uh, well, Darwi, luckily, is a super long-range jutsu. No. Oh, I didn't grab him. Oh, no, 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 no. No, Killer B Sama. This is how it goes. Thank you, mother. Get the pyramid. I love that, how he creates those fucking pyramids during the war. That shit is awesome. All right, let's go back to Darwi. He just blasts his head. Oh, nope. Get grabbed. Darwi actually has a pretty good grab as well. Uh, his grab is just... Oh, okay. His grab is just like uh, Sasuke's, actually. Sasuke has a very similar grab to that. Uh, Rinnegan Sasuke. It's one of the best grabs in the game. Because what happens is you put that down right there on the ground, and people can, like, dash right into it. I've fought several people online in the past who that was, like, their strategy, is they would put that grab down and kind of wait for people to just walk into it, and it's really, really annoying to fight. Okay, so he's out. Oh, no! I was just about to say he's out of subs, but I've only got one left as well. Fuck you. Got him. Yeah, you little shit. Back to the village. The Bossu demands it. As Darwe would say, Bossu. <laughs> What do you have to say for yourself, good sir? Oh no. Yes, it was the Samehada, oh. the shark the shark skin. <laughs> it's all oh, fuck. Alright, let's go. Check it out, Joe. Oh, hell no. What? No. What is this? Okay, he went to... Uh, well, jeez. Very uh, observant of Gara to just instantly perceive where he went. Also, I love how Kankuro is not doing anything right now. Are we going to fight the A-Tails? I'd be so down for that. Oh, no. Stuck like a rat in a trap. Yeah, you sure are. Because, uh -huh. of course, Darwi becomes the next Raikage. Really, of all of them, Chojiro, uh, you know, the Shukage's granddaughter. Oh, he is going to go Awakening. Okay, cool. Uh, Darwi does seem the most competent of all of them. Okay, this actually could be a little tough. <laughs> yeah, you're surprisingly calm considering we're going up against a fucking bijou right now. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think... I think I'll use Gara here because uh, Darwi's a better assist. Although, actually, no. Because Gara's assist will be very good since B is such a big target. 
uh, even Gara's Jutsu or Assist will be very easy to hit. We definitely want the defensive boost here. Uh, because here's the thing. Usually with these big awakenings, if you get right up in their face and pound on them, it's very difficult to maneuver around with them. But that's how it works when fighting human opponents. Uh, the key is always to rush big awakenings down. We're going to try it. Let's just rush him down and see what happens. Even if he uses his subs, uh, I'm not too worried. Yeah, let's just keep it going. As long as we just keep the pressure on him. I like our chances. That's okay. We'll use the sub. Darwi. There we go. So there's Darwi. Okay, so he's only got one sub left now. Uh, we're doing very good. He's got no subs. No, get in there. Get in there. Look at this man. He's dodging like crazy. Okay, there we go. There we go. He does have another sub, though. Oh, fuck. Okay, there we go. We got you. We got you. Killer B-sama. Bye. Not bad. Not bad. So, yep, that... Whenever you fight, like, one of those big awakenings, you know, Naruto's, uh, Ninetales, or if you're fighting a Susano, usually, as long as you really, really heavily rush them down, you can take them out before they get going. But especially going up against, like, uh, Sasuke or Madara's Susanos, once they start swinging those swords around, you're fucked. Because even if you sub, you just sub into the same spot. So you're just going to keep getting comboed and you're done. But if you're really pounding them away, it's difficult for those big awakenings to kind of get away from your combo. So that's usually the strategy to go with. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, be a shame, Killer B. You just got beat by two non-Jinchuriki on my head. Now, Gar is super strong, but he's not a Jinchuriki anymore. Like, come on. Killer B should be stronger than Gara. Actually, thinking about it, I was talking before about the top 10 strongest ninja uh, after the war. Killer B has to be high on that. Killer B might... <laughs> Killer B... No! That's funny. Killer B might even be three after Naruto and Sasuke, now that I think about it. I don't know, though, because... Onoki is pretty high on that list. I think Killer B uh, could, like, if he was in, like, a death battle with the Raikage, I think Killer B would beat the Raikage. A hundred times as hard? Oh, no! Yeah, 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 I just sparred. Your body still looks like, oh, fuck. Oh, no, no, Killer B! Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stop, man. Him saying, oh, no. That's killing me right now. Take it, what? <laughs> oh, this is this is getting real dark. Oh, we just got real dark there, Raikage. <laughs> oh, oh. Go with God, B-sama. Prepare yourself. Oh, boy. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. If it wasn't for Gara busting ass, they wouldn't have gotten him. <laughs> Can't come up with anything that would fit. Ever need any help in the hidden sand? Let him know. Okay, maybe that will come up at some point. If I can get the bosses permission. Uh. Maybe that'll come up later in Boruto. We never know. Kind of embarrassing. So, Gar, all of these motherfuckers just get so embarrassed by a handshake? That's a rare comment. Oh, that's very, very rare. They definitely are. <laughs> Look at that. Helping strengthen the relationships between the ninja motherfucking villages. How beautiful. Such a sight to see. Yeah, I can understand why that was an A difficulty, considering first you have to chase down all of B's clones, then you actually have to fight him awaken. That makes a ton of sense. Uh, where is it? The Raikage has a quest open, but where is it at? Uh, seen in Hidden Sand. Oh, S! Oh, baby! Yeah, I'm excited for that. Hell yeah. 
What could that be? Maybe we have to fight uh, several of the Kage at once. Like, what if we have to fight Kakashi, the Rai Kage, and, like, the Mizu Kage at the same time? I guess that could be what that is. Uh, wasn't the Choji fight in the Shikamaru Adventure Mode, that was an s rank difficulty as well, was it not? And that was really tough, because Choji, every hit would break my guard, which was pretty problematic. Alright, so what is this? Message from Raikage-sama. Uh-huh. Raikage training? Selects his opponent himself. Okay. So we're going to be fighting the Raikage. Alright, that's fine. Uh, With B incident the other day. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's where B and Sasuke fight. I think that's a very underrated fight when Killer B and Sasuke battle. That's the first time that Sasuke... Oh, wow, that's brand new, huh? That's the first time that Sasuke uh, actually uses his Mangekyo Shiringan. I mean, he unlocks it. Basically, it, it kind of seems like Sasuke's uh, Mangekyo is awakened not really by Itachi's death, but by um, him learning the truth about Sa about Atachi, that's what seemingly awakens his Mangekyo. But, you know, Atachi's dead. It's the same thing. It doesn't really matter. Now, oh, we might have to fight all three of them. That'd be pretty cool. Sasuke, like, we first see him use that after Tobi, a.k.a. Obito, finishes telling him the story of Atachi. And then it's once he actually goes to track Killer B down that he first busts it out. Uh, he doesn't use Susano during the Battle of Killer B, though. He does use Amaterasu, though. <laughs> strong people can only be trained by other strong people. That's the Goku motto. The Goku way of thinking. <laughs> oh, so we are just going to be fighting the Raikage. Okay. Sure. So, maybe the Raikage has some sort of ridiculous, like, guard-breaking type ability, like Choji did. I'll have to be more mindful of that. Oh, we're gonna ask him something. Nandato! As thanks for capturing B. Oh, okay. For <laughs> forcing him to spar as thanks. <laughs> Only a Kage can understand. Well, they did fight together against Madara in a quite fucking epic battle. A warm up. Hmm. Oh, okay, so we're gonna take out Darwi first. Okay. Uh, Darwi could be annoying if he would spam his laser circus, but I don't think he will. Okay, so we're going to do a little... Yeah, what's the point calling it a warm-up? That's a good point. <laughs> Hajime! Alright, so let's get going. I'm actually... I'm really curious to see what conditions are going to be on the fight with the Raikage. What's going to make this an s rank difficulty fight? Uh, we'll just go with the ultimate Bonds Lunch for now. Although it... it some of it doesn't seem like it's very useful without assists, but just the extra attack will help. Okay, yeah, so the Darwi fight, this is just a warm-up. He's only got attack power 30%. Nothing crazy. Okay, so he's backing up. Well, let's see if we can knock him off. That'll do... Oh, no, okay. I was going to say, knocking him off does significant damage to him. I suppose there's always a chance... Oh, he... Okay, here you go. Get grabbed. Okay, so we both have one subs. So whoever uses this sub next is at a big disadvantage. Or Darwi could be dumb and just blindly try and approach me. Although now he's getting his subs back. Yeah, if we could knock him off, that does such significant damage. Like that right there. Significant fucking damage. Bye. No! Oh!
Get grabbed, pussy. Bitch! Bam! Love that. No. And, oh! Uh, where are you going? Where are you going, Darwi? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Good backdash. Good back, good back. Got him. Oh, oh, but that's okay. Because now you have no subs. <gasps> I don't have any subs either. That's okay. We got him. I was going to say, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got a little too uh, too greedy with using my subs there. Boom. Bye, Darwi. I'm going to cut that bitch off. Bam. All right, so let's see what the Raikage, what nonsense does he have going for him? Attack 150%. Gonna be like Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Yeah, that's a warm-up, all right. Yeah, he's younger than you. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to see what Gar is like in Boruto. Hopefully he's stronger. All right, now we're ready to begin. This isn't war. Face some fair and square in a training spar. Yep, okay. There's some special meaning behind it. You might be thinking too much into it. Yeah. Matching your fists to mine. Okay, cool. Defeat. Gotcha. All right, let's go. I've got no idea what condition. It's It might just be him being able to break my guard easily like uh, Choji was in the Shikamaru battle. If that's the case, then that means I need to be uh, ultra aggressive. Because you can't really sit back and use jutsus and shit if you can't guard. That's it? No, there's going to be something else. Just attack power 55%, that's nothing. So, yeah, there's... This is not the final battle. There will be another battle after this. Because this is an s rank difficulty. I mean, think about it. Uh, fighting Awakened Killer B is a lot more difficult than fighting just regular Raikage here. Yeah, don't just charge up in front of me. I don't permit that to happen. Oh, there you go. Dummy. That crab is so OP because it it doesn't just like go away; it stays there for a little while. And you get knocked. He might be dead, actually. Yeah. Bye. This place fighting here can be kind of annoying if you get knocked off, just like what happened there. Maybe we'll fight the Raikage now that he's awakened. But I mean, still, we would have. For it to be an S rank difficulty, I, I just don't understand. There has to be something big coming. Because I don't even think there was. Was there any of those in Naruto's adventure mode? An S rank difficulty mission? I'm not sure. Made him kneel and said, Yeah, pretty good, Gar. Pretty fucking good. Oh, here we go. Yes. Okay, so Raikage Awakening. Gotcha. <laughs> and then he asked for another round. Yes. Now, the Raikage... His awakening is pretty strong because he does have a teleport now. Uh, he's able to teleport directly behind me, which is kind of a problem. Uh, we definitely want to use the ultimate power lunch. Let's see what other... Uh, conditions there might be on this battle. That way I can formulate a proper strategy. Yeah, okay. Attack, 100%, and the guard breaking. So we have to be ultra aggressive here. If I fuck around, I could really get blasted. Uh, Alright, so let's just keep going. Yes, let's see if we can't knock him out. Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. Let me not... Look at this man! His speed is outrageous! Yes, yes, there we go. Perfect. That's a lot of damage. A lot of free damage right there. Get the Sand Tsunami, pussy. Let me keep it go- Oh, fuck, there it is. See, that's the teleport I was talking about right there. Okay, I'm, I'm waiting for it. Yep. I was prepared for it that time. Oh, I'm so dumb. I, two seconds into the fight, and I forget- Oh, shit. 
two seconds into the fucking fight, and I forgot that he could just obliterate my guard. So let me be careful. Uh, my, yeah, that teleport, man. Ah! Fuck! Okay, hold on, hold on. J oh! Oh my god, this Raikage! He's something else. This boy is furious. Okay, there we go. There we go. No! 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 Ah, I try. It's difficult to sub. Oh, it's so much damage. It's difficult to sub grabs. I almost had it. Okay, here we go. One more. No! Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, I'm gonna pop that. Get grabbed, pussy. Okay, now he still has no more subs, so this should do it. Okay, cool. Definitely a tough fight. There's no doubt about that. Attack power up 100%, and the fact that if I just stand there and guard, he will instantly crush it. But I was prepared for it. It's just that the fact that he can just teleport behind you at any moment, that's what the tough part is. Because you guys remember in the first fight with the Raikage, I could just keep my distance and then just blast him with the Sand Tsunami. Obviously, that wouldn't work in that battle with his ability to just be like, Oh, actually, motherfucker, I'm right behind your ass. Notice what? This was no mere training. They were talking to each other. Yes, the soul of a shinobi, as Sasuke told Naruto at the Valley of the End. Words alone can't convey everything. We got it. Clashing with someone head on. Yep. That's the that's lesson that Sasuke taught Naruto there. Just like G Gundam. With overwhelming power. Certain type of pride. Yep. That's what was hidden in his fists. So heavy. Okay. Well, yeah. He showed it to you. Of course he's capable of leading the hidden sand. No one will walk with you. Only power. Yes, you can't do it with only power. Ah, I see. I see what he's saying. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm? Oh, Nani! Alright, we appreciate you, Raikage. All right, bye, fucker. Mm. Uh. Teaching me quite a bit. Oh, thank you very much, Raikage, then. <laughs> hmm? well, the... Yeah, the Raikage, he's a cool dude. He's strong, that's <laughs> true. Stronger than anyone. Well, Naruto could beat his uh. ass. Sasuke could beat his ass. <laughs> I think Killer B could beat his ass. Uh, Tsunade probably could beat the Raikage. I think... Hmm, the Shukage is probably stronger as well. But I think I would probably take the Raikage over the Mizukage. Hey, hey, thanks for helping out, Kankuro. Good to see you there, buddy. Fucking asshole. All right, so now, uh, I guess we just head back to the village hidden in the sand. But I feel like that very powerful fight against the Raikage is a good place to end it for today. I'll see you guys next time for more Naruto Storm 4. And we're getting pretty close to the end now. Yeah, we've only got four quests left. All right. Wait, what percentage are we done? 66%. Very close. Two-thirds of the way done.